It is a privilege to be joined today on the summit by Ben Bolt, who is in his sixth season as the head volleyball coach at Concordia. And coach, just a fantastic season. I really expected a season like this from you all. It looked like all the pieces were in place. And to this point in the year, still with an unblemished record, 17-0, and as we sit right here in the middle of October, getting ready for the home stretch of the schedule. Coach, let's start right there then. Talk about it. It's I, I know the work's not done yet, but to this point, 17-0. and well, You said that you expected that. I mean, I, I don't know where you were on our coaching staff, uh, you know, meetings during the during the preseason, but, um, you know, I just I still feel like we're, we're doing the same stuff that we have been all uh, our time here, you know. I mean, we finished, uh, you know, 15 and 12 that first year. I still feel like we're, we're, we're coaching that same stuff, you know, and all that. And I, I think that our players are, have been bought in and, you know, just, you know, the, the things that, that we're doing now, I think is built on, um, you know, the, the foundation of the people that have come before us and the work that they've put in and the work that this team has put in. So, uh, you know, I just, it, I think it's been one day at a time and, um, you know, it, it's, uh, it's, it's really awesome to see the success and I, I'm, I'm proud of, of all the work that we've put in for sure. Well, the, the, uh, the next time I, I get an, an invite to one of the coaches meetings, which would be the first time, um, <laughs> I'll, I'll be sure and I'll, I'll cheer you on. Well, it, and it looks that way from afar and watching you all just, uh, the, the people who have come back and the ones who've stuck around and the ones who are wanting to be a part of, of this season, uh, it just looked like from again from a distance how what you could achieve and and again what you are achieving right now which brings us to a number one ranking the NAIA's top team right now number one ranking in the the NAI ranking not rating and I'll tell you for the first time in program history uh, talk about that just a little bit from this perspective it it seems well deserved yeah thank you um you know it's 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 cool uh, to have that ranking. Um, you know, I, again, I think it's a reflection on the work that, that we put in, uh, you know, not just this year, but for, for all of our time, um, you know, it, I want to make sure that our team doesn't, uh, you know, put their identity and having to be number one. Um, you know, it's, it, once you, once you step out on the court, the, the rankings don't matter. You know, it, it, I had a, had a, a coaching buddy, um, text me and say, Hey, uh, congratulations on, uh, the giant target that's being painted on your back, you know? So, uh, it, you know, so that, that's, that stuff that is, is carried with, um, being number one. And, uh, you know, and again, I, I don't want to put our identity in that. I want us to focus on the things that, um, you know, that, that we want to focus on all the time. We talk about our core values, uh, love, trust, hard work, and sacrifice. Um, you know, it, uh, we talk about earning our way and never assuming anything. So, um, you know, I just, uh, to, to stay in the present, I think is important. Um, you know, the, the ranking is certainly cool, but we, uh, you know, we want to be ranked number one at the end of the year and we got to go earn that. I, I understand that coach. And I appreciate the well-groundedness that, that you're presenting. And, and of course those core values, uh, those are absolutely fantastic. Having that ranking though, I mean, you've been able to continue to do well, uh, a couple of really good wins, including a win over the defending national champions in Jamestown last week, followed up by a very uh, good victory over Dakota Wesleyan is all. I mean, pretty pretty much any GPAC win is a solid win. No way, no two ways around that. I, I wanted to talk about some of the players, too, because, you know, I mentioned that at the outset, the players that are coming back, a, a team that you put together, uh, you and Angie have put together your entire coaching staff that are sticking around now and players that have been there long enough to get some milestones like Becca Gebhardt and, and, and uh, Gabby Nordica crossing the, the thousand milestone mark and digs and kills and, and Bree Bertwistle, who at, at some point, I guess in the near future is going to have the GPAC setter of the week award named in her honor. Um, so talk about some of these players and, and what they've meant. Uh, it, it's, it's awesome to coach these guys. Um, you know, I mean, you talk about the milestones that, that have happened, you know, that that, that comes from, um, you know, just not being satisfied and, and putting putting in the work. And then, you know, all of a sudden, boom, you hit a milestone. Um, and that's that's certainly not the goal. You know, it's it's not. All right. I got a thousand kills or a thousand digs and I'm done now. Um, it, it's just it's a it's a testament to to the longevity and the, the, the work that they've put in. Um, I, I just I, I think that um, I mean you, you mentioned Bree there 
I think that it's something that, that we're proud of on our team is uh, just our balance and our, our just our sense of team. Um, you know, it, the, the, our, so our main attackers on our team, they're all, they're all at over two kills a set. Um, and I, I just, I think that that is uh, indicative of our, of our balance and of Bree's understanding of how to get somebody open. And, uh, you know, just, I, I think that that comes into to what our first contact is, you know, that, you know, Becca and our back row can keep us in, in system and, um, you know, having to defend an entire team. So I, I just, I think that that's a point of pride in, in what we want to do and what, what we want to continue to do. And, you know, I mean, we have to continue to, to push the envelope and keep getting better. We're speaking now with Ben Bolt here on the summit on Midwest sports net, where we talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. And I encourage you, please continue to enjoy the videos here. We, we enjoy getting to visit with the people like coach Bolt that we get to visit with uh, coach, by the way, I said all that. And, and you mentioned the balance and I tried to hit, you know, many of the facets of the game and digs and kills and, and assist with the players I mentioned. I didn't even mention Ashley. I didn't even mention Cameron. I mean, the, the list goes on. I mean, what a roster you have uh, coming into this season. I, one of the things I heard from you this summer, you talked about it being the Jordan years. It's 2023 and, and folks well that are our age know who wore number 23 and probably who most famously wore number 23 in Michael Jordan. Talk about what that means and, and, and thinking about that being the, the Jordan year. Uh, I mean, Jordan wins championships, you know, um, and he was a, he was a winner at winning. Um, and you know, that, I think that that speaks to, to not just, um, the result of the action. I think that it's, uh, it speaks to everything that, that goes into the daily part of it. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's more of the, that's more of what we want to do. We, we also, um, our motto that we had at the beginning of the year, along with Jordan year is a level up. And, you know, I mean, we've, we've, um, you know, we've done things at a certain level, uh, since we've been here. Um, but we're, we're always trying to challenge ourselves, you know, level up, level up. And it, I mean, that's been something that our players and, uh, our coaching staff has really challenged me with, you know, um, I'm thinking about doing something. Uh, maybe, maybe we don't want to do this. Come on, coach, just level up, level up. You know, so they're they're challenging me on that. But um, you know, the the Jordan year really um, the the theme of it for us has been uh, it is he wins championships, and you know that's definitely a, a has been a has been a goal for us. You know, we're not going to live and die whether based on whether we win or lose a championship. I just I, I want us to to have that that mentality as we approach every day. Coach, I, I just always appreciate getting to to not only visit with you, but to hear you in, in your post-game press conferences and just getting to listen to you talk because of the wisdom that you do bring to the table pretty much game in and game out. I, I would ask you then this, uh, you know, shooting for a championship and striving for that this season and wanting to still be playing in that, that final match of the year, uh, there's still a regular season ahead of you. You've been very clear about that, still work to be done. Uh, later on this week, you go on the road, you take on a, a tough Northwestern team, six matches left in the regular season schedule, uh, a tough GPAC schedule, then a GPAC tournament, and then, of course, an opportunity uh, most likely in the, the NAI tournament. By the way, you, you wrap up the season on Halloween at Midland. So, I mean, the, the schedule makers didn't do you any favor at all, I, but still – Talk about how you close out this season without giving away any state secrets. I'm pretty sure everyone at this point knows who you are and, and what your roster can do, but how do you close out this season? Uh, I mean, it's, it's a daily thing. Um, you know, I, I have, a, I have a lot of trust in our, in our coaching staff. Obviously Angie is, uh, she's, she has been awesome. Um, you know, our players can come to us with anything that they need along the way. Um, you know, we're we're making sure that that we try to stay as healthy as we can. We want to we want to uh, we, we've got a veteran team, you know, so we've got an older team. It takes a little bit longer to recover. Uh, so we've had some we've had some uh, some days off that I think have, have helped us out. Um, so, you know, we'll try to steal a steal a day off. And so that we can can have a, um, you know, just a long term mindset. Um, so that's been a big thing. Uh, and we want to make sure that we keep our priorities straight. Um, 
you know, we talk about on our team, our priorities. Number one is your faith. Number two is your family. Number three is school. And number four is volleyball. Um, and I think that with, when you keep your your priorities in that order, that we're all moving in the same direction and we're all mentally in the right space. Um, so, you know, and then when we have time off, we, we do that at a championship level. When we're on, we do that at a championship level. And I mean, it's a, it's a daily thing and, you know, we're, we're competing every day and, um, you know, just one day at a time, <laughs> one day at a time. Well, I, and, and coach, I appreciate that. I appreciate the priorities and the order in which they are and, and you present them. And I've, I've heard it mentioned about things that are daily. It's just very daily. <laughs> that's that's the only way around it coach ben bolt congratulations first off for for what you and the and the team have done to this point in the season again with work yet to be done but thank you very much for taking time to visit with us here today on the summit and, and talk about the bulldogs and and a great season to this point yeah i appreciate you reaching out this was fun